Hey there, welcome to my page. I'm Coach Missy, and I'm so glad that you're here today because I just wanted to share this amazing um, thing that I have that I came upon and realized today how important it is needed to share, okay? And I used to never do this, but first off, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I, my name is Missy Mo, and I am a registered nurse and a health coach and I am so excited whenever I help women who are so busy that they can't find time to take care of themselves, um, whether it's physically, whether it's nutritionally, whether it's spiritually, and I help them figure out a way to do all of that on their own time and I let them know that they are worth it and that they deserve to take care of themselves in this way and not put themselves on the back burner anymore because Guys, I used to do it. I used to be that person. However, I always was able to somehow figure out that time that I needed. I wasn't always consistent in the past, but now in the last four years, I am very consistent. And that's my passion is to help women become consistent in that. And usually it's busy moms who have put themselves on the back burner. But anyway, enough about that. Let's get to it. All right. Because I want to honor your time and I want to make the best of this video for you. Okay. Talk. You know, it's, this is what I want you to know that I used to never do this. I used to never celebrate the small little things, okay? These small things, these small actions that I would take to succeed. I would never, I would, I didn't, I did not, I didn't celebrate them. I wait, I tried to, I would try to wait until like I would hit this big goal. And guess what? That time frame, sometimes I would hit the goal and sometimes I wouldn't, but I would never celebrate the small steps that I made along the way. And so I want to just encourage you and to help you see that it's okay to celebrate the little things, the little tiny things, the little, you know, whether it's weight loss or whether it's your job or whether it's like managing the family or whether it's like cooking dinner at, at home, all of those little things. And ever you become like so scattered and you forget that you had some wins for the week, it's so important for you to celebrate them because you have to acknowledge all of those things in order for you to feel supported by yourself. Because sometimes your biggest cheerleader is yourself. And even though we have cheerleaders on the outside and that's great, but you are your biggest cheerleader. And so I just want you to know that whenever you celebrate those wins, you get to like, you get to um, basically identify with yourself that you are doing a good job and that you are making a difference. And so I just want to say, hey, it's really, really important that you do this because you, again, like I said, you're your biggest cheerleader and you need to take ownership of what you're doing and you need to celebrate like the the you know the clean meals you ate if it's nutrition that you've had a problem with if you have a goal to like eat healthy or to lose some weight you know that is my specialty but it's not just about that it's about other things too but let's focus on that like so if you have a 50 pound weight loss goal or a 10 pound weight loss goal goal well if you don't celebrate all those little wins in between getting to that big goal then you are gonna not have as great of an experience and you might give up before you get to that big goal. So you need to like let yourself know and reaffirm to yourself that you are doing a good job, that you are, you know, tracking your food, that you are, you know, losing a one pound, you lost one pound this week. That's okay. That's great. Just pat yourself on the back. That's an accomplishment compared to what it was before whenever you weren't losing anything. So you have to like acknowledge those little baby wins. And then if you put enough of those little baby wins you know together then guess what you are gonna have that big win that you've been waiting for and that is the most important thing and so I hope that you can see that it's it's not it's it's also in the struggle like so if you have losses 
and something like happened and it wasn't that great, if you're tracking that, then you can correct. So like, let's say one week, like last week, you may have not gotten all your workouts in, or maybe you didn't drink all your water every day, or maybe you had those diet Cokes and you kind of re, you know, backslipped a little bit in that area and you've been really doing really well, but you had a couple of diet Dr. Peppers. Well, guess what? It's life, it happens. It doesn't mean that you're gonna wash away everything that you've done that's positively. But if you don't like take into consideration what you have done positively each week and are reaffirming yourself that you're doing a great job and then you have a bad week, guess what happens? All you can think about is that bad week and you start like, <laughs> you know, telling yourself that you're not doing a great job. And then that sense of failure and that negativity mindset comes into play and that can do more harm than good. And so I just want to encourage you to take notice this week of what you're doing that's positive. Go back last week and look at what you did that was positive last week. Don't focus on the negatives. If there's a few negatives, that's fine. You're going to work on those this week. But if you're not tracking and you're not Consci being consciously aware of these small changes that you're making. Right? So you've got to know where to go from here. You have a great Monday night and I don't want to take a lot of your time. I know this is a short little video, but I hope it is worth it to you and that if you feel like you want to share it, then that's great. If you are on top, and if you click on the three little dots, you can like um, set up your notifications to where you get notified whenever I go live. Yes, Shelly's saying there's so much negativity in the world. I totally agree. We need to celebrate the small stuff. Yes, exactly, because who else is going to celebrate the small stuff? Because if we don't, like we have to share it. And I promise you, if we share it, then people are going to, you know, even if we share it with ourselves or if we have a group, like I have, you know, these accountability groups that I love and we all share the good, the bad, and the ugly. Sometimes we share, we're too hard on ourselves. And we all know that we, if you're like me and you're in my tribe, we are the, our hardest critics, right? And so if we don't celebrate those wins, then it can be daunting and we have to do it. We have to take, we have to learn to take care of ourselves and have that positive mindset because there's way too much negativity in the world. Like you said, Shelly, I totally agree. So anyway, all right guys, well, I love you and thank y'all so much for taking time to be on here and share this out with your friends. And that way we can uh, get more viewers on here and we can like spread this message because I think it needs to be spread because my gosh, really? We gotta celebrate the small stuff. Hey, Emmy Mae, uh, we have to celebrate the, uh, the small stuff because you know what? Who's gonna, who's, who is gonna celebrate it if we're not? It's our stuff, we have to take, we have to do it. You know, call a friend, text a friend, you know, get in my accountability group, whatever. I don't know, whatever you gotta do to, to start sharing stuff and start taking, you know, a, accountability for yourself that you are doing something great for yourself each and every day. And it may not be perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Just like I said earlier, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you gotta celebrate those little wins, okay, to get you to the bigger wins, all right? Hey Lee, thanks for joining, but I am signing off. All right guys, love you, gotta go to dinner, bye. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Mark. <laughs>